Hey, this is Mike from the Sixth Street Massacre Haunted House in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, we're going to talk about safety today because it looks like we're going to probably do our inspection soon with the fire marshal. Uh, so, the, so one of our, our biggest, um, most important aspect of the haunted house is to keep our customers safe, keep our actors safe, and to protect the assets. But number one is life safety, so we're going to take you around and show you a couple of things and some of the preventative measures that we have in place uh, and a lot of things that, that we have that we aren't even required to have. This frame right here, we've got several safety features of our, of our haunted house. Uh, besides an alarm system, it, it actually can detect uh, if there's a fire here and they'll alert fire officials. But uh, we've got fire extinguishers. Um, there's one here that just needs to be placed. This one's placed. We have them by every door because in a panic, you're not gonna remember where you put them. So you, if you're panicking and the place is on fire, you need to put them by just somewhere where it's it's just common sense and you're gonna be going to the door anyways if there's a fire. So if it's by every door, we feel like that's a good default place to put it. We've never had a fire here that was caused by us. Uh, so we've never had to use it, but we feel like that's a great place to uh, have them. And we also have emergency push bars. All of our doors are feature, have these, our, our doors uh, that are, and they're all, uh, going out, we've rehinged a lot of our doors to go out that were once in. Um, uh, also, you can look up here. There's a, a battery backup exit sign, and it's got uh, exit. It's got lighting, so if it loses power, those lights come on. Maybe I can push the button. Boom. So if we lose power, those automatically come on. So it gives a little bit of light to uh, so you can see your way out. We also have some extra features that we have uh, in our place. Try to look here. We have uh, these lights that come on. They're white lights, they're shop lights. Not required to have them, but we have them. They're remote access, so, and they're all in a battery backup. So when we hit that power, the, the power button to turn those on, we have like thousands and thousands of lumens that come on white lights and they're all independent so they're there's sections of lights so so say you have one part of the building that's on fire it's disable those lights all our other lights are connected battery back and we're still going to come on we're still on the subject of uh safety and probably the name the main safety issue for any fire any haunted house is uh fire and in a haunted house you have a lot of confined places, confined spaces. And in this situation, we have carpet on the wall and it's kind of like to absorb sound. So it's kind of quiet in here. We call it the quiet room. Uh, we have fabric here and we have this on the wall and we want to make sure that it doesn't burn. If, if somebody came through and accidentally dropped something, just something dumb, somebody could have a candle. You just never know what people are going to do. So be prepared for the unexpected. And this stuff is called Inspect a Shield. And you can uh, spray it on almost anything. Uh, wood, painted wood. Fabric is the big one that it's used for, something that's fabric material that can absorb, but it does work on painted uh, material. As long as it'll stay on it without just dripping off, it'll work. So we're gonna cut, we're gonna do a test. See if it lives up to its, uh, its specs, because it says it lasts indefinitely as long as it's indoors. And if there's no wear and tear. So in other words, if you're spraying a shirt and you're wearing that shirt, so there's wear and tear. So you got to spray that every year or every so often to make sure that it maintains it because you're going to sweat. You're going to, if, if you're walking on carpet, then you need to spray it every year. But if it's this, we still spray it every year, but it's been a year since we sprayed it. And we'll, we're going to take a little chunk off the wall here. We're going to take it outside and uh, see what happens uh, when we apply some fire to it. We'll be back in a minute. What? Hang on, let me cut it. Okay, yeah. So he's not, yeah, we're cutting it right so off here. Go ahead and cut a piece so you guys can see we're cutting a piece off the wall. Nothing applied. It's kind of random. We'll see if we applied it to every inch of this, and then we'll be right back. We're going to take it outside and apply some fire to it. All right, we'll see if it works. We're outside now with our piece of carpet that we took out uh, from inside of that, that room, the quiet room. We're going to see if it what happens when we apply some fire to it. So you can see it kind of catches. Let's see if it goes out. This isn't a good one. 
Good, not a good example. You see the first one go out? We'll redo it. No, it's good. That's it's, not bad. This is good though. Yeah. Have this as a problem, like to have it. Let's see if it. You can tell it's kind of on because carpet normally just gone. Let's see if it keeps going. Where'd we cut that first piece from, Rick? Very. Okay. You can tell it's got to have something on it. Then he must have. Yeah, we didn't do very well right, right there. Right. So yeah, it's good. It's good that I know this is a good thing because it looks like we missed the bottom when we were spraying. But let's go get another piece and uh, let's let's give another piece a shot because I know I, I know I sprayed probably what was right in front of me. So let's get a piece that's more up like eye, eye height or waist high and above. But it looks like we did get that, but we just didn't get it good enough. So good test. All right, we're back inside and we're gonna get a piece that we know uh, there's not a whole lot of wear and tear. That last piece that we got could be where people are walking by and kicking it. And it could have, it was over here, but it, it, it could be from the wear and tear part of, of this stuff. So we're gonna get a piece that we know Pretty much nobody's touching this uh, up here, up high. And see if uh, the product works as specified. And we'll, we're gonna head outside. All right, we're back outside with the uh, piece of carpet that we just cut off. We're gonna see if, it, uh, if, the, if it'll catch fire. And anything will catch fire. If you put fire, if you put, most things say fire resistant, it's resistant, water resistant. You put a phone long enough in the water, deep enough in the water, eventually it's gonna get water. Yes, sir. So that, it, almost everything is resistant. You can tell this one's, this is definitely resisting. But if I put this fire in this long enough, it's gonna catch. So look at it, look at it going out. I'm like. Yep, it won't stay. See, went out all by itself. I was trying to make it grow. I was trying to make the fire grow. But you can tell it's doing its job and it burned itself out. And like I said, if I keep burning this, eventually it's all gonna catch fire. It's only resistance, it's only to that initial, like when you drop your phone in the pool, it's resistant. When you yank it out, it's still good to go, but leave it in there, it, it's gonna be ruined. And same thing here, you keep applying fire to this, eventually it's all, it's gonna torch. But I think, see it just went out. I'm just doing new pieces where have it like just goes out so it's, it's basically made to where if, if fire is going to come into contact with it it's not going to make the fire bigger but eventually if fire just kept hitting that eventually it's going to burn but then once it hits the new stuff it's going to do the same thing it's going to resist so hopefully it won't help your fire grow but there's what's happened i think that's worth buying what do you think yeah it's good stuff it's pretty expensive but uh i think it's worth it so so you don't don't have to live with uh, hurting a customer or killing somebody. Mm. And mm. the insurance companies love it. 